Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we thank God for bringing us together as one community of faith, as one church, to be renewed by His Word, by the body and blood of Christ, and by the Spirit poured into our hearts. The Feast of the Santo Nino brings to our attention the mystery of Jesus' childhood. The devotion instills in us the virtues of simplicity, obedience, and trust in God. At the same time, it calls for mature discipleship, and loving service to all. Such is the admonition of today's gospel. We are called to become like children, ever humble, careful not to despise, so that we may enter the kingdom of heaven. And as we continue this Mass, let us, con let us come to God with humility and abandon ourselves in His mercy and grace. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, to pray for me to the, the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
kasalanan, O Kristo, Almighty God, your only Son, begotten from all ages, humbled himself as a child in Nazareth and became subject to Mary and Joseph. Grant that we may learn from his example to embrace your will in all things and holding fast to the dignity of all, serve our lowly brothers and sisters with open hands and gentle heart. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing as they rejoice before you as at the harvest as people make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaster, you have smashed, as on the day of Midian. For every boot that tramped in battle, every cloak rolled in blood, will be burned as fuel for flames. For a child is born to us, a son is given us. Upon his shoulder dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful. From David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both now and forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The 
The Lord has made His salvation known in the sight of the nations. He has revealed His justice. He has remembered His kindness and His faithfulness toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord is king, let the many isles be glad. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp with a harp and melodious song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn, sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. The Lord is king, let the many isles be glad. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before him. In love, he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the Beloved. Therefore, I too, hearing of your faith in the Lord Jesus and of your love for all the holy ones, do not cease giving thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of glory may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call, what are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the chosen ones. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name 
receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones, for I say to you that their angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Sabi ho sa isang commercial, great things start from small beginnings. Lahat ng malalaking bagay, lahat ng mga engranding gawain, nagsisimula sa maliit. Hindi agad-agad agad na lumalabas na isang malaking pangyayari o isang engranding bagay. That's why it was not unthinkable for Jesus to put a child in the midst of his disciples and say, this is the way to greatness. Siguro kung tayo ho yung mga alagad na nando doon, mapapaisip din tayo, bakit? Kasi ang inaasahan natin, kapag dakilang bagay, malaki. Kapag dakilang bagay, ang grande. Kapag dakilang bagay, big time we would also find a hard time in understanding how can a little child be the way to greatness. But how can we understand this way to greatness through the eyes of a child? Three things. First, children have the ability and the desire to change. Hindi habang buhay bata ang isang bata. Lalaki at lalaki din yan. Tatanda din yan. Children grow. Children mature. And alongside with it is their desire to grow. Their desire to mature. Bakit? Kasi ang bata, nai-eche puera. Alis ka muna dito, usapang matanda ito. Alis ka muna dito, hindi pang bata to. Mag-aral ka muna kasi bata ka pa. It seems that being a child will always be a hindrance to what they can do. Kaya kapag ganun ang naririnig ng bata, ang iisipin lang din niya, sana tumanda na ako. Sana lumaki na ako para magagawa ko na yung ginagawa ng mga matatanda. But sadly, when the child grows, when the child matures and sees how complex and difficult the adult world is, anong sinasabi niya? Sana bata na lang ako ulit. Sana naglalaro na lang ako. Sana nag-aaral na lang ako. Simple lang ang buhay, hindi komplikado. We lose that desire to change we lose that desire to mature. And that is the first thing that is being taught to us today. Do not lose the ability and desire to change. Change is inevitable, but to desire it for ourselves is the bigger challenge. Madalas dun ho tayo nagkukulang, dun tayo nahihinto. Hindi masama yung madaling makontento. Pero sana, nakikita din natin yung paghahangad na magbago para sa ikabubuti ng ating sarili. We desire to change because we desire to become better persons. If we don't see that desire in us, let us reignite that desire. Let us reignite that ability so that we can find ways to improve our very person. Secondly, children will always bring joy. They bring joy to others. They do not bring joy to themselves. New parents will always be proud to show their children because they see them as their cause of their joy. Iba yung nadudulot ng bata sa isang pamilya. May saya, may ngiti. 
But that joy will also remind us of our responsibility. It is not simply a joy that would bring a smile to our faces. It is not simply a joy that would lighten our days. It is not simply a joy that would make our hearts jump. But it is a joy that is ready to teach us of our responsibility. When a child is born to a family, they do not simply share the joys of showing the newest, the newest member of the family. Alongside with it is their responsibility to take care of that child. It will now be their duty to take care of this child. It will be their responsibility to feed, to shelter, to clothe, and to educate this child. Hindi, hindi pwede na i-enjoy lang nila yung saya ng may sanggol sa isang pamilya. Pero kasama nung galak na yan ay yung tungkulin na alagaan, arugain, kalingain yung batang iyan hanggang sa kanyang paglaki. Again, sadly, there are people who don't see it that way. There are people who don't see children as bringers of joy. Why? Because they see children as an obstacle to their, per to their personal joys. When unplanned pregnancies happen, it is something that they do not expect. And what do they do? They expel that child. They expel that baby in their womb. Because they do not see that child as someone who would bring joy to their lives. It will simply be a hindrance to their, to their personal joys. It will, der it will derail their personal careers. And when they are not successful in expelling that child from their womb, then they do not grow that mentality. They make the life of that child a living hell. Dahil habang buhay nilang sisisihin yung bata na nasira ang lahat ng plano nila dahil dumating sila sa buhay nila. That is not the true sense of joy that the child brings. It is a selfish kind of joy. Ito yung mga tao na gusto lang ng puro saya pero walang kasamang tungkulin. Walang kasamang responsibilidad. Happy-happy lang palagi. But joy is not meant to be kept within ourselves. True joy will not be limited within our very being. But true joy will always exude from ourselves and affect others. Lastly, children are images of innocence. And what is innocence? The desire to learn and grow in wisdom. Change is inevitable. But we must also desire to change. And what does that mean? We allow ourselves to adapt in whatever state that we may be. When we do not act our age, then we have lost along the way that desire to change. Innocence, on the other hand, is our desire to, grow, to learn and to grow in wisdom. And that desire never stops. Hindi natin pwedeng sabihin na dahil matanda na tayo, wala na tayong matututunan. Hindi natin pwedeng sabihin na dahil tapos na tayo mag-aral, tapos na yung lahat na kailangan nating matutunan. And what is the enemy of innocence? Pride. Because we think that we already know everything. Pride. Because we think that we don't need to be taught. Kaya yung taong mayabang, nagmamarunong. At ang nagmamarunong, nagpapahamak. When we allow ourselves to learn and mature in wisdom, it is not simply for us to gain something more, but also, to, but also something we can, that we can share and benefit others. Great things start from small beginnings. And hopefully, whenever we see a child, whenever a child is placed in our midst, 
we can rekindle that desire to change for the better, that desire to become bringers of joy, and that desire to learn and grow in wisdom. Please stand. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not me, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come, come again, again in glory, glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. On this Feast of the Santo Nino, let us pray to the Father to make us worthy of being His beloved children. Let us remember in a special way the children of this nation and around the world. For every intention we will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Church, may she never lose the spirit of a child and so live with the spirit of friendship, freedom, and openness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who hold public office, may they care for all children, show them the beauty of life, and guide them to the respect of laws. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who are sick, depressed, and elderly, May they always trust in the providence of the Father, like a child trusting his parents. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, may our celebration of the Feast of the Santo Nino be marked not only by cultural and religious festivities, but also by a deepening of faith in Christ, who is always attuned to the will of the Father, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead may find peace and happiness in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our intentions and the intentions of all who ask for our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, hear the prayers of your children who trust in you. May your word in the Eucharist be our support and our guide. Give us a childlike disposition, for your kingdom belongs to the little children. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Thank you. 
maging bayan mo Brothers and sisters that may sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. God, our Creator, we offer the gifts of bread and wine to recall the childhood of your only Son, that our offering become the sacrifice of Him who brought forgiveness and peace to the world. Grant this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of this awful mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours and begotten before all ages, he has begun to exist in time so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Oh, 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession, in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, 
and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. 
Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, you that you should enter, enter under, under my, roof, my roof, but, but only, only say, say the, the word, word and my, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. Be healed the body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Loving Father, you have nourished us at the banquet in honor of the child born of the Virgin. We pray that we may advance in wisdom and grow daily in faith and works of love so that we may find favor in your sight. Grant this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. In defense of your children, O Lord, we pray, stretch forth the right hand of your majesty, so that obeying your Father the will, they may have the unfailing protection of your Father the love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Amen.